Yo. Oh, man, I lost again. Yeah, it's okay, man. <laughs> Just uh, take some getting used to. Well, yeah, well, if I had my own MetaQuest, I'd be able to play more than just when you come over. I mean, I thought your parents were gonna buy you one. Yeah, right. What? What happened? Bro, I, have you tried asking lately? Maybe they've changed their mind. Casey! Yeah, we're in here, Dad. Oh, hey, Meg. Hey. Didn't know you were here. Yeah, it's good to see you. So, what are you boys up to? Uh, just playing MetaQuest. Could you buy me one now? I've been waiting forever. Casey, we've talked about this. If you want one, you're gonna have to save up allowance or get a job. But it's gonna take forever. I guess you better get joining then. Why don't you come and help me fixing cars at the shop? Mm-mm. I'll pass on that. I know. The storage is a mess. How about I give you 20 bucks if you organize it? That's it? For all that work? You know, I don't mind helping you. If, if that makes a difference. Is it? All right, fine. Just be careful. There's some valuable stuff in there. Yeah. It's probably all old junk. Let's go, Malik. Bucks, man. This is so annoying. <sighs> Look at all this crap. <sighs> what? What are you doing, bro? Some of this stuff is actually really nice. <sighs> like this clock. It's probably from the Stone Age, the 50s or something. No, oh, exactly. Old stuff like this is worth a lot of money. My grandpa had a clock just like this. He actually sold it for $100 at our yard sale. What? Yeah, man. And look, like this record player? Oh, you know this is worth a lot of money. I'm telling you, man, people online love this kind of stuff. Oh my God, that's it. Why didn't I think of it before? What? What are you talking about? This is the key to me getting my MetaQuest. I'm gonna sell all this stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. Are you sure your dad's gonna be cool with you selling all his stuff? Clearly he doesn't care about it. It's been sitting in here for ages. I, I, don't, I don't know, man, you... Casey, hold on. You, you better ask first. Look, he won't even notice it's gone. Now help me find some stuff. Officially just sold the last item. Now I have enough money for that meta quest. I don't know, what are, you, what are you gonna tell your dad when he asks you how you got the money? I don't know. I'll say I found it on the sidewalk or something. What? Hey Casey. Mm -hmm. When you are cleaning the storage, did you happen to touch this? No, I don't think so. Why? I am missing something. There was a pendant in there. Now it's gone. I haven't seen it. Are you sure? Yeah, I just said no. I am your father. I know when you are lying. Where is it? It's gone. Gone? What? What do you mean it's gone? I sold it, okay? What? To get money for the MetaQuest. How could you do that without asking me? I don't know, what's the big deal? I want you to get it back right now. It's gonna be hard to do. It's almost 50 miles from here. I sold it last week. Whew. 
Wonder what was up with that? It's just an old pendant. Man, I tried to warn you. Look, you gotta figure a way to get it back. What, and not get the MetaQuest? Yo, you saw how upset your dad was. Whatever, he'll get over it. Have you tried getting your father's pendant back? I tried. I couldn't get a hold of the buyer. Casey. What do you want me to do? She's not answering. Casey, this is very important to your father and you're acting like you don't even care. That's because I don't. So, any word on the pendant? No. She's not responding to my messages. Well, here you tried to call her. What's her number? Dad, it doesn't work like that. It's Facebook Marketplace, you can't just call them. So, Penny, will be gone forever. Anthony, why don't you come sit down? I made you your favorite. How could you do this to me? How could you sell something that doesn't even belong to you? That was the only thing! I hope this is all worth it for you. Mom, I didn't know this pendant was such a big deal. Why is it so important to Dad? It belonged to his father. What? I thought Dad didn't know his dad. I think you better go talk to him, huh? Dad? I'm sorry about the pendant. I didn't know it was your dad's. I thought you didn't really know him. I didn't. The pendant is one of the only memories I have of him. You see, I don't know a lot about my childhood other than I grew up in another country and my mom passed away at birth. From what I hear, my dad was a mechanic, just like me. Even though he worked a lot, I'm told he loved me very much. But times were tough back then. A few years after I was born, there was a lot of tension in the world and a war was about to break out. Things were getting worse by the day. Soon our country was under attack. Families had to leave their homes without any notice. Explosions were happening every minute. It was a really scary time. The men were not allowed to leave. They had to stay and fight. Even though he didn't want to lose me, my dad did the hardest thing he ever had to do. He gave me away so I could escape and have a better life while he stayed behind. The only memory I have of him is the look on his face when he said goodbye. He gave me his pen and said, it will always protect me. So you see, it was the last time I ever saw my dad. I don't know if he's alive or if he ever made it out. I don't even have a picture of him. The pen was the only thing I had. Dad, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me? It was too painful for me to talk about, Casey. I tried to put it behind me. I thought it hurts less that way, but... I guess not. I feel terrible about that pendant, Dad. I wish there was something I could do to fix it. It's right. You got to move on at some point, right? Okay. Give me a few minutes. I bought that to it.
Huh. Are you sure this is the right place, Casey? I think so. This is the address I shipped the pendant to. Okay, let's go in. Who is this? This is Casey from Facebook. I sold you the gold pendant. I've been messaging you all week. I need that pendant back. Hello, Mrs. Rahman. This is Mrs. Agabo, Casey's mother. The pendant he sold you belongs to his father. We'd like it back, please. We're willing to pay you for it. Okay, I think we'd better go. Does this mean I can get the money back from the stuff I sold? Nothing. And that was the last time I bought anything on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Honey! Casey! Oh! I didn't realize we have a company. Hi, I'm Anthony. <gasps> okay. Hi. Honey, this is Mrs. Rahman. She's the one Casey sold your pendant to and she brought it back. Really? Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how much that pendant means to me. Oh, actually, I think I do. What do you mean? <laughs> when I saw it online, I bought it immediately for my husband, for a surprise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a bit of a hoarder, but <laughs> he loves old pendants. Well, you could say I'm a little bit hoarder myself. You should see my storage. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it runs in the blood. I, I don't follow. Um, <laughs> when I gave the pendant to my husband, he did not react the way I thought he would. <laughs> He was not happy. He looked shocked. I didn't understand, so I asked him, what is wrong? Mm -hmm. And he showed me inside. And he said, I gave that pendant to my son. Grandson? This is Casey. Hi, Granddad. I guess we have you to thank for bringing us all together. If you hadn't sold that pendant, we wouldn't have all found each other. So, Dad, does that mean you're not mad at me anymore? I guess not. So, can I get that money back or. Before you ask, open it. No. This request. Thank you, Dad. Can I go play it? Casey, don't you want to spend time with your grandpa? I'm sure he has a lot of good stories about Anthony when he was a little boy. Come here. Come here. Can I trouble you for 22 cents so that I can get something to eat for today? You mean? Buy some more drugs. I'm, I'm an artist and, and I work with celebrities. And yeah, right, buddy. And I'm Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> no. And I'm Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> you are an Oprah.